Hey guys, it's Tech Rainier. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to install RAM into your PC. That's right. If you guys do not know, I have a beginner's guide here on YouTube on how to install your SSD, hard drive, and of course, you guys find these videos really helpful. So I thought we'd do a video here today how to install your RAM and set the RAM frequency at the exact same time. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing you need to do is, of course, turn off your PC. So right here, I'm at this wall-mounted PC. I'm going to turn it off for the time being. Once it turns off, what we want to do to actually install or upgrade as a RAM is first open up our RAM slots. So the prime main spots you want to use are going to be your two and four slots. So you can see here there's four slots on your motherboard. If we actually want to uninstall RAM, we just push these little levers on the top here. And then there'll be one on the bottom like so. And then you can just pull your RAM on out. And that's how you uninstall RAM. Now, if you want to install some new RAM kits, you're of course going to need the two main spots, your two and four slot. And then if you have all four sticks of memory, you would install in each of them. So for the time being, I'm just going to go to this little lever here, push it up like so. Same thing on the actual bottom. I'm going to push it downward. It's going to pop open. And now there's going to be a little tooth in the middle of these slots. So you can see right here on the RAM slots, there's a little tooth mark and we want to line up this tooth mark with the motherboard. And so what we're going to do is upgrade our motherboard from 16 gigabytes of RAM the two 16 gigabyte sticks of the Corsair Vengeance will give us a total of 32 gigabytes of RAM instead of our 16 gigabytes. And this will allow us to run instead of single channel memory with one stick, dual channel memory, which will give us a performance boost. So what we're gonna do is take this tooth here like so, match it on up with the actual slot. So we're gonna install it first into our two slot here and we're gonna line this in. Then once it's lined in, you wanna push it in from both sides. So we'll start with the top side and then it's gonna click into place. Same thing at the bottom. Once you hear click on both sides, you got the first stick installed. And so we're gonna do the exact same thing with the opposite stick. We're gonna put it in the four slot here, line it on up. And then once you have lined it up, you can just push it on in. Make sure you're clicking the place. And with that, if your RAM is perfectly installed, all you have to do is turn on your PC. And if it boots, and then we can go into the BIOS and customize our RAM speed. Because when you install memory into your PC, it won't automatically set the frequency to the right amount for your, the kit you bought. So most people don't even do this step and they lose performance. So I'll show you guys what you want to do next so you gain performance for your actual memory. So when your PC is booting into the actual PC, what you want to do on your keyboard is click the delete key and spam it because this is going to put you into the BIOS. Now, once we're in the BIOS, you can actually see the memory frequency for your PC. And so you can see right here, we're running at 4,800 megahertz. Now, keep in mind the memory we have installed this PC right now supports 6,000. So we are losing performance because it's not set to that. So depending on your BIOS, it might look different. What you want to do with most BIOS is though, is go from the easy mode and go into the advanced mode. Now there will be like a overclocking spot or a twinker spot, depending on your BIOS. So with my uh, BIOS, I actually have like only an XMP and also the system multiplier. So I can either manually set my memory to 6,000, which is 60, or I can enable XMP, which I would recommend enabling XMP, which is the best way of doing it. And if this doesn't work, sometimes some other boards won't support it. You can actually just do the actual uh, manually set it. So I usually do this. And once we actually have this, all we wanna do is go to exit and then save and exit setup. And then we just wanna apply this. Now that our PC is booted up, what we can do is check to see if our memory frequency is correct. So what we're gonna do is look in Task Manager here to see if our RAM is perfectly installed. We're gonna go to the performance icon. And then within here, you can see our RAM here at 32 gigabytes, which there's two 16 gigabyte sticks when we installed. Plus we can check the RAM speed and we got 6,000 megahertz, which is the RAM's rated for. And with that, we have successfully installed our RAM. If you guys did find this video helpful though, make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed so you don't miss on future tech content. We're trying to hit 21,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So if you want to do me that favor and hit that subscribe button, that'd be very much appreciated. And until then, I'll see you guys for another tech video. Tech Grant out.